The command prompt is still a powerful Windows tool. Here are the most useful CMD commands every Windows user needs to know. If you haven't poked around inside Windows command line, you're missing out. There are lots of handy tools you can use if you know the correct things to type. The first command is file compare. You can use this command to identify differences in text between two files. It's particularly useful for writers and programmers trying to find small changes between two versions of a file. Simply type fc, and then the directory path, and file name of the two files you want to compare. You can also extend the command in several ways. Typing slash b compares only binary output, slash c disregards the case of text in the comparison, and slash l only compares ASCII text. The second command is ipconfig. This command relays the IP address that your computer is currently using. However, if you're behind a router, like most computers today, you'll instead receive the local network address of the router. The third command is netstat. Entering the command netstat-an will provide you with a list of currently open ports and related IP addresses. This command will also tell you what state the port is in, listening, established, or closed. This is a great command for when you're trying to troubleshoot devices connected to your PC, or when you fear a Trojan infected your system, and you're trying to locate a malicious connection. The fourth command is ping. Sometimes, you need to know whether or not packets are making it to a specific network device. That's where ping comes in handy. Typing ping followed by an IP address or web domain will send a series of test packets to the specified address. If they arrive and are and are returned, you know the device is capable of communicating with your PC. If it fails, you know that there's something blocking communication between the device and your computer. The fifth command is PowerCFG. PowerCFG is a very powerful command for managing and tracking how your computer uses energy. You can use the command PowerCFG Hibernate on and PowerCFG Hibernate off to manage hibernation. And you can also use the command power cfg slash a to view the power saving states currently available on your PC. You can use the power cfg slash energy command to build a detailed power consumption report for your PC. The report saves to the directory indicated after the command finishes. Windows 8 added power cfg slash battery report, which provides a detailed analysis of battery use, if applicable. The fifth command is shutdown. Windows 8 introduced the shutdown command that you guessed it, shuts down your computer. The sixth command is system info. This command will give you a detailed configuration overview of your computer. The list covers your operating system and hardware. For example, you can look up the original Windows installation date, the last boot time, your BIOS version, total and available memory, installed hotfixes, network card configurations, and more. Use system info slash s followed by the host name of a computer on your local network to remotely grab the information for that system. Seventh command is task list. You can use the task list command to provide a current list of all tasks running on your PC. Though somewhat redundant with task manager, the command may sometimes find tasks hidden from view in that utility. There's also a wide range of modifiers. Task list svc shows services related to each task. Use task list V to obtain more detail on each task, and task list M will locate DLL files associated with active tasks. These commands are useful for advanced troubleshooting. Eighth command is chkdsk. Windows automatically marks your drive for a diagnostic chkdsk, and when symptoms indicate that a local drive has bad sectors, lost clusters, or other logical or physical errors. If you suspect your hard drive is failing, you can manually initiate a scan. The most basic command is chkdskc, which will immediately skin the C drive without a need to restart the computer. If you add parameters like slash f, slash r, slash x, or slash b, doing this, chkdsk will also fix errors, recover data, dismount the drive, or clear the list of bad sectors, respectively. The ninth command is driver query. Drivers remain among the most important software installed on a PC. Improperly configured, Missing or old drivers in Windows can cause all sorts of trouble, so it's good to have access to a list of what's on your PC. That's exactly what the driver query command does. You can extend it to driver query v to obtain more information, including the directory in which the driver is installed. The tenth and last command is cls. Cluttered up your command prompt window trying out all the commands above? There's one last command you need to know to clean it all up again. Well that's basically for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel.
We will catch you in the next one. Thank you and bye-bye.